Hi everybody. Hi every spirit. Welcome very much to the second match out of a best of three between in the color blue, divine, in the Chinese, and in the color red. Playing as the English is give you anxiety, and this is a USA Derby. Both of these players are from the United States. And this is a best of three out of the round four of the group stage of the Silver League of the Elite Classic. You can catch the main event of the Elite Classic live on Twitch, Saturdays and Sundays, and you can catch me live on Twitch using the links in the description down below. And you can also know more about the Silver League by using Liquipedia, for example. And if you don't know, let me tell you. So you have the Elite Classic, the 16 best players in the world playing against each other, and then they'll move to the playoffs. The Silver League is players that almost qualified for the main event, but they didn't. So now they have more time experience and exposure to gain in this tournament because if you think about it like people like Jiwei way he's a very good player but he, he doesn't make it very far into the tournaments so he doesn't play very he, he doesn't play a lot of matches against high top players and now in this match in this tournament he can do that he can gain a lot of experience by playing against a lot of people of his level and better and let's talk about the matchup chinese versus english super um economical matchup late game incoming most likely but i think that english have the advantage i do i think they can have a more consistent and like heavy pressure over their chinese and i think the chinese cannot respond as well to the pressure of the english but chinese very versatile sieve with a lot of bonuses and different stages of the game switching around they can catch the english player off guard for sure council hall coming in for the english player GOA wants to throw in those longbows, that early aggression. Bardicon of the Sun being dropped by Divine. Good spot near the stone, protecting the gold. But the longbows can just shoot from here, right? They outrange the Bardicon pretty easily. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this matchup. Who, who you think can in more easily or has more chances of winning? between Chinese and English, let me know. Alright, Horseman running around, not Horseman, Scout, my bad. Bardicon of the Sun completed, Imperial Academy, not yet here for Divine. Alright. English player going immediately with Spear and Longbow, here they go. What will they target? Oh, there is an already Longbows here, nice, nice, nice. There is nobody on the gold there. Not because they are on the back gold, they were. Stables coming in to deal with the longbow, but they're already spears, right? And that's why the English early game is so good. We have longbows and then the spears. There is nothing that can counter that in the early game. Oh, many times from um, HRE, right? Or knights. No, knights, no, they are countered as well. Horseman coming in, trying to pick these loose uh, longbows. Spear comes in to help the longbow. Three longbows could be easily picked. Not, not producing more. Jiwei not having enough food. He's going for the second TC. Here we go. Second TC. A lot of stone. A lot of wood. Let's go. Fright raging, raging out here. That's a lot of horsemen. Up to four. And archers coming in. Maybe the vine delayed the... Imperial Academy, so you have more resources to build units at the start of this match. That would be intelligent. Second DC being dropped super far away on the board by GOA. Second DC on the board. Alright, good move. This seems like a Rus build. Alright, TC coming up, Horseman looking for raids, the war getting killed, no villagers are lost from GUA, well played, one villager very low goes to the gold now, archers coming in to the wood line, no victims, archers looking for an angle, there is not a lot of angles, Horseman getting villagers, nope, villager escapes, spear comes in, walls ready, 
Arsman will go away. They don't want to mess with the spear. And wall comes online. Scout being targeted. Spears, more spears for Jiwei. Second TC from China came in perfectly. And Imperial Academy as well. Right there. So Song Dynasty, Song Dynasty begins. And we have double TC. So Divine will be on more villagers really soon. More spears, more longbows. I think both players want to play feudal. I don't see... No, that's a fast castle. Alright. So Divine wants to go fast castle. And GUA wants to play a little bit of feudal. Not much. But he wants to play a little bit. Oh, 30C. No way. 30C can be denied over here. But that is the way to counter... Uh, uh, Chinese, Chinese Song Dynasty 2nd TC. Bro, come on. Can I speak? Let's go. One villager goes down for the archers, but 2nd or 3rd TC will be constructed. There is nothing that Divine can do about it now. Let's go. He wants to go castle. So he's happy to see Jiwei going 3 TCs. He's going castle. We'll grab the relics, send some, Minotaur, some palace guards or some knights to the base. But everything is good here. In this side of the base is protected. This side is empty. So no, no, no need to wall that. This is a bit exposed. A couple rams, knights and palace guards could throw this down. A lot of wood for the vine now. It doesn't have a lot of production, right? Second DC on a nice spot was on the deer. Astronomical clock tower, it's inside, right in the limit. Still counts, still counts. What's our Fei Fei? Three TCs pumping for GUA, let's go. He needs to defend, he needs to hold. Nice kill there. Kings. No way! Guys, I'm so glad I'm recording this. I'm so glad you guys are live with me here because it's a 40C English build against Song Dynasty 2TC Chinese on Lipany. And they usually say that English are very scary on Lipany because it's super easy for them to go 3TC and go unpunished. Guess Zhu Wei heard me out and he said, hmm, if I can go 3 unpunished, perhaps I can go 4. And here we go, 4TC coming out. That will be so many villagers coming in from GOA. He needs the food economy to sustain that though. And you can see cleaning or closing in the gap. And he lost two villagers. He's only four villagers behind. And I think Divine does not know about this. Where is the scout from Divine? Where is your provider of vision? It's here. He has no idea that GOA went with the castle. Bro, amazing. 40 Cs from GOA. We are not playing around, right? Let's go. LFG in the chat, my guys. And my girls. Scout from GUA gaining vision. Let's go. No villager lead almost. 1 TC, 2 TCs, 3 TCs, 4 TCs. Beautiful. Going for the deer, you need a lot of food to pump those villagers out, right? It's 12 villagers per minute. Because each villager takes 20 seconds. That's 3 villagers per minute from 1 TC. So, it's 12 villagers per minute. So, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of food, right? LFG, baby! Let's go! Crazy build online. 69 villagers. Nice. Number of growth. And abundance. No relics being captured by Divine, actually. He had the wood to build the, um, the thingy, the monastery, but not going for it. Not going for it, I don't know. Small army from GUA. Just driving the attention away. It is a good old uh, palace guard rush, but there is walls almost everywhere. GUA wants to make a huge English empire here. Close here, close there, or close here, and then get this sacred site. Two sacred sites inside of your walls, and three relics. That will be a great move from Jiwei. Palace Guard, 
What you want, bro? What you want? Huh? Huh? Get out of here! The English crossbows do not kill around around their TCs. They attack faster. Spears will die there, but you you see, those palace guards were here. They now are there, and it's a lot of them. I don't know. We just needed like three of them to kill that. Uh, one relic, first relic for G wave. Let's speed up a little bit, y'all. Oh, Chinese player went for the boar. Divine went for the boar. I like it. Sitting on two TCs. Villager lead for G wave now. And he lost four villagers. Great moves. Walls get cancelled. And Divine kills another villager. Alright. Second TC. Under threat. Divine, can, can you do something here? Can you burn? No, I think you can't burn that, right? He's going for the fields. Go, 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 go. Go, go for the field, bro. Go for the field. Jiwei getting a respectable army. But Divine has the notorious, the infamous nest of bees. And two of them ready to party on the battlefield. More palace guards coming in. Does he know that Jiwe is on 40 TCs? I don't think he does. Jiwe got one villager. He wants to get the secret side, but the palace guards will attack the prelate. The monk, I mean. Alright, nothing big happening. Let's move on. Palace guards running around the map. Walls are almost closed. Another relic. Three relics already for give you anxiety. He's really giving anxiety to divine for sure. Crossbows drive the palace guards away. Divine coming in with his own crossbows to take care of these knights. It was it easier to just go mass spearman. It counters both crossbows and knights from give you a uh, GUA. Oh, nest of bees was fired. Oh, Chinese keep coming in hot. Can does it go up? Does it protect the sacred site? I don't know. Let's see. It's called a monk running away. Wanted to grab another relic. But there is no more relics. It's already four relics for Jiu Wei. And only one for Divine. So all the relics on the map are taken. Jiu Wei will be sitting on 320 gold per minute. From the four relics. Night Raid! Night Raid! Jiwei already 5 villagers ahead. 40 Cs are pumping. Night Raid delicious here. Villagers on the deer. Uh oh. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. 30 C under stretch. Under danger. That's a lot of army. Divine focusing all his forces there. Knights burn the outpost and go for more villagers. More kills. That's a lot of kills. No military upgrades for Jiwei though. He can lose all the fights. Because no military upgrades. Zero. Nada. Not yet. Palace guards go in. Attacking some of the builds as well. A bunch of villagers go to wood there. It's always beautiful. That formation. Nest of bees under threat. The villagers are healing. The knights are going down slowly. And they are forced to push away. But it was a great play from Jiwei. He pulled all the army from there. Just to defend the nest of bees. 30c went down. There is still three more. So don't worry. Maybe you, you build another one? If you are Jiwei. Is, is it worth it? You're 10 villagers ahead. Almost top cap. Just... Maybe you just don't care about villagers anymore and you just go for military. 15 villagers lost by Divine so far. Very well played. GUA banking. A lot of food. 2000 food per minute. He's on the deer. Hold on. He's on the deer. He has 1 million farms in the base. And he is... And that's it? That's his food economy? No, he has more farms down here. That feels good to the English, bro, with those farms, right? Feels good. Jiwei looking for more victims. There is knights in the wood, in the farm line. 
keep being built up. A lot of villagers go down. Oh, bro, this is so tough for the vine. He, lo he lost 20 villagers so far. And Jiwei is going with the Berkshire Palace. But where? Killing 25 villagers. Already 30 villagers ahead. That's a great play from Jiwei. Where is the Berkshire coming? In the middle of the base. Right, so the Jiwei base just became anti raid, unraidable. Nest of Bees working out. It is two of them ready to do damage, ready to do damage. Oh, that's a lot of bills into gold. How many? How much? How many? 37. That's crazy. GUA wants all the upgrades as fast as possible. Another invasion. Nest of Bees and Palace Guards. But the Berkshire does not play around. The network of Citadels coming in online. Increasing the network of Castle's deck speed bonus from 15% to plus 40. That's crazy. I know, guys. I know. Nest of Bees working the King's Palace. Four Springles, though. Jiwei will not be able to have any siege on the field while he does not take care of that Springles, of those Springles. We reach a bit of a stalemate. Jiwei wants more raids. Divine going for a sacred site. Oh, Chinese... No, that's a Chinese keep. Yeah, Chinese keep being built. Burning the wall. But look, the Berkshire reaches there, man. That's crazy, right? That's so crazy. A lot of spears coming out, ready to defend the night raid. Night kill the monk over there. No threat. Gate is burned. King's Palace going down slowly but surely. Man at arms are not moving, come on. Move! King's Palace going down. Jiwei will be left with two town centers. He was once upon a time on four in the times of the legend. He has still 40, 30 villager lead, so that's great. He's, bro, he's killed 41 villagers. Those night raids don't stop. Why Divine doesn't wall, bro? He has 1000 stone. Three nest of bees. Huge damage. Actually, they're attacking the tower, sadly. Divine with the wrong targeting. Springholtz also, I think he's taking care of these raids, right? He's on one sacred side, which is good. He lost a lot of villagers. Lost the nest of bees. Lost the Springholtz. That's not good for him. Biology comes in. Does these knights gonna be more healthy? Do you already have enclosures? Yes, we do. Oh, gate is open on this side. Second TC under threat. Divine goes Imperial with the Spirit Way. I love that landmark. If any dynasty unit dies, it will give a buff of attack speed and healing to every unit around it. That's great. A little man at arm, a, need, a, need, a little palace card force comes in. GUA destroying the siege workshop. The second is he'll go down for GUA, but I think he doesn't really care. Most of his economy are here. So they are safe, so he thinks he'll, he'll not lose more, so he, he can keep the lead, right? Berkshire is defending, doing what he does best, being ridiculous. Imperial Palace coming in for the Vine, changing from Song Dynasty to Yuan Dynasty. Knights doing damage, defending very well. 
GUI moving on to a sacred site, a lot of stone, a lot of gold. Knights get the trap. Berkshire cleans. Berkshire cleans everything. Secret site could be lost. I could be for this one as well. A lot of villagers here. Ooh, Jiwei lost 32 villagers. Maybe they were trying to go for this gold, a bunch of them. You can see the bodies. Then the, yeah, here as well. All right. He's now behind in the villager count. Beautiful Chinese farm. Bro, look at this. 3,000 food per minute. Are you kidding? All right. Good damage. Good defense from GUA. No problems. Both players trying to push out. Tower coming in from the English, giving the attack speed. Not, not, not English, that's Chinese. My bad, guys, my bad. I hear a cannon, bro. Ah, oh, it's this, okay. Gee, we're losing a lot of heals. Oh, 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 bro, don't build the Fire Lancers. Bro, build 60 Fire Lancers and you win the game, I'm telling you. Please, build 60 Fire Lancers and win the game. Fire Lancer Landmark Snipe, do it. I wanna see it, come on, baby. Joey lost a lot of villagers recently. And he's only on 1 TC, right? His second TC was destroyed. He was once upon a time on 4 TCs. I oh, know he's on 2 TCs. That one was built back. Alright, 2 TCs. Big walls. He saw the fire. Yeah, he saw the fire lancers. So he's walling. Alright. That's a huge army. But Chiwe has more units as well. Oops. Joey's just chilling over here while that whole thing gets destroyed. Uh oh. Night raid, night raid. Alright. The knights do not attack. Oh, they are coming back. Oh! This keep was destroyed. And Chinese villagers. How? With traps? No, Joey has no traps. What happened there? Killed a bunch of bills. Maybe it was the, they were deleted? Because you run out of gold with the key to the bills. Enjoy with more military though. Losing a bunch of bills here. That's two keeps now. We have to go inside. Let's go. Damage being done. Well played. Jue doing this one really well. English keep now and decapturing the that sacred site. So much gold. So much food. Ridiculous. Almost every single upgrade from the blacksmith. English late game, bro. Doesn't even compare. I think there is no stronger late game than English late game, right? Perhaps HRV with 5 relics and some trade. There's still a huge Chinese army over there. But you can still build, bro, just build a bunch of Fire Lancers. And use them for landmark sniping. No, he's using it for uh, normal fights, which is not the best use of the Fire Lancers. Two bombards taking care of the keep. Keep being repaired. Not a lot of stone in the bank, though. Divine will not be able to keep up that keep. That keep is under pressure as well. Oh, that keep survives because uh, Divine pushed GUA away. But the siege from GUA is doing good work. But oh, he lost a bunch of units here. 
His army was completely obliterated. I think it's the hand cannoneers with the extra range. The Fire Lancers also start the fights pretty well with the fire damage. Good fight from the Vine. I was not expecting, but he played that one really well. Keep under pressure. Jueli now with two sacred sites and four relics. Alright, keep that in mind. That's 520 gold in total. Alright, Chinese units pushing through. Let's advance a little bit. Alright, Chinese army out of position. That's a lot of cavalry, bro. 40 horsemen and 7 knights coming in super hot. I'm not a rapper. Nice, nice. Good pressure. Give you, bro, give you that he can just spam. He has so much food and gold. And he's just using horsemen at the moment. He kept this gold. Divine was not able to push him away. Divine still maintains one sacred site. Jue one two. Big Chinese army. But there is more English units. No players are trading at the moment. Look! The Rebel the Queen! He appears! Five barreled gun powered weapon effective against massed units. There's little damage to buildings. I think it works great against accumulated armies. Agglomerated, that's what I meant. That's a lot of fire lances, that's 18. I can take down that tower pretty quickly. Huge horseman army, bro! 54 horsemen! Jiwei has more horsemen than Divine has army. Okay, not now, because they are dying. But you get you got my point. Rebel the Queen, shoot! Shoot! He's not shooting! He's shooting against... Not against the building! Not against the building, bro! Look, buy... Buy army from the vine! A full army of horsemen! Cleans the army of the vine! No, it's not... It's also some hand cannoneers... Some longbows with incendiary arrows... Bro, great match so far! Let's go! Horseman coming in hot. Bro, horsemen, they are winning the fight, bro. Never mind. Here they go. Trash army spam. Lovable, right? Okay, all the horsemen go down. But look at the mess of hand cannoneers. 30 hand cannoneers. With a Rebolder Queen in the back. Rebolder Queen can clean those melee units that threat the hand cannoneers. Oh, Fire Lancers coming in. Being one shotted. Get out of my face, Rebolder Queen. Do it. Nice, he did it. Again, again, again. Oh, Bombard hitting the Rebolder Queen. A bunch of villagers coming in, what's... what? Divine? What? Outpost comes in online. Outpost being burned there, outpost being built here. The Rebubble Queen memes, I love it. Actually, there was a game where I was French, I was playing against HRE, and I won because of Rebubble Queens, because my enemy went mass... Uh, man at arms and mass spear. And it was killing my Arbalitia hand cannoneers, right? So I built some knight, or I built a bit more knights. Three Rebel Queens or two, and then they melt the men at arms. With the help of the hand cannoneers and Arbalitia, right? Look at that! Bro, you see the damage? Again, again, again. 
Bro, it killed three palace guards in one row. That's strong. More, uh, more uh, Fire Lancers coming in. I think the only way out for the Vine now is a Fire Lancer landmark snipe. Right, guys? Joy pushing in. He's ahead on villagers once again. He's doing so well. English late game. Kinda broken. Very strong, very strong. And he can produce siege from his um, keeps, right? Which is great. There's been a slug fast here in the middle, but Divine is running low on resources. But he has almost 4,000 food per minute. That's so crazy. He has 68 villagers on food. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh, the, the Rebata Queen went down. Sad. Sad moment. Outpost from the English come up. The, the Bro, if this comes up, all the units here will attack faster, even the Bombards, which is kind of crazy, right? Even the Bombards attack faster, I know. More Bombards coming in. Oh, wait, is that destroyed? It is. Okay, build another one. Let's go, look, look. The hand can just shoot so fast, bro. So, so fast. Oh, and Joy has three sacred sites. But I think it's GG now. I think that now it's GG. Not even 10 minutes. Because Divine is very low on food and gold. He's using everything he can into Fire Lancers. And it's not really working, right? It's not really working. Joy is just out spamming with Horsemen. And three Bomba. Also, his units attack faster, right? There is one gold there. With 600... There is no more gold. There is no more gold for the vine. And I think that's the end of the game. Let's wait a little bit more. Horseman going around. Three sacred sites for GOA. Four relics. So he's on 620 gold per minute. Just from that. You can see it's half of his income per minute. Yeah, and look at 6,000 wood, 4,000 food per minute, 2,000 gold in the bank. There is no way GOA loses this one now. First landmark goes down. Another fight comes in. Fire Lancers losing the grip of the game. And I think we can just speed up now, right? We know it's over. Hand Cannoneers versus Hand Cannoneers. More Fire Lancers. Production being destroyed. There is a Nest of Bees. Nest of Bees can change these. GG gets called, GOA takes the win, brilliantly played, the legend went for 40 Cs and the Rebold the Queen, what a game, guys if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, watch more on the channel and follow me on Twitch, Surfer, surfing out.